In this tutorial, we're going to walk through the seven types of lists that you can use for your data inside your Adalo app. Now, I already have a database set up here of vacation places with some properties and records so that we have some data to work with. Let's go over and we're going to search for lists. So first, we're going to add a simple list. And we're going to say this is a simple list of vacation places. And we could leave it just as this if we wanted to. We can go in and add in some additional details if we'd like to and click preview. And now we can see our information that is listed out in a simple list. Next, we're going to go in and add a card list. This will give us an image and a description. We'll bind this to vacation places. And then Adalo will say, okay, you could do a masonry or a grid. We'll do a masonry for this and go make sure our title is pulling in the correct information. We're going to do away with the subtitle. And then in our body, we want this to be the description of the place. Once we preview, we can see that our full description is coming in and we have this masonry layout. So to see what it would look like for a grid layout, we would go back into the card list, select grid, hit preview, and now we can see that we have a card layout. Let's get into our next list item, which is going to be an image list. So this is going to be heavily focused on the image, not so much text. We'll bind that information and let's go into the text and get rid of the subtitle. Just leave the name and preview it and we can see exactly what it would look like. Some other things that we could change over here are in the image style, we could have these be squares, portraits, landscape, and all of those are going to change based off of our settings inside of our app. Another one that we can do within our list are avatars. So these are primarily focused on the images and we will go down and just remove this text, but you could leave it if you wanted to. And we could also add some, change the size of the images. We could adjust the rounding if we wanted to, um, we could add some background color, some border, and it will pull in our image from our vacation places. Next, we'll get into the horizontal card. This is just like the layout of the other card, except for that it scrolls horizontally. So we will add our vacation places and then we can go down and we can again update these options to be a portrait or a landscape. I'm going to leave mine as a square and then we can even change the text position to top or bottom overlay. We can add different background effects, um, bring in any subtitles or description that we want to have there and then also change the position of this as well. I'm going to leave mine at the bottom and then as this information is pulled in you can see that you are able to scroll to the left and to the right within your app. We have a couple more that we're going to cover here and the next one is going to be the horizontal chip list. This is going to be bound to your vacation places and it's going to automatically pull in the image and the name of the image. And one thing that we can do, since these are rounded, pill-shaped uh, chip lists, we want to change our image rounding to be more in line with the shape of the container. So when we do that, we can click Preview, and we can see that the images inside the chip list are rounded just like our chips. And lastly, we can add a custom list to our app. Now, this is just an overview. I will link to a video below that has a, a deeper walkthrough into custom lists. But just to show you, we have bound it to our vacation places. And then now we can work with additional data that we didn't have the option to before, such as layouts, or item spacing, and we can add components to this list to give it a much more customizable feel. So let's add a button. 
and we will make some small changes here. And then we can see that this list is customizable within our app. And that's a brief overview of working with lists inside of Adalo.